Extreme heat and wildfires are plaguing the U.S. and Europe, along with northern Africa. Thursday marks the peak of the latest heat wave in the mid-Atlantic states, with Washington, D.C. likely to reach or eclipse 100 degrees Fahrenheit Thursday, with a heat index closer to 105 or 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Why it matters, heat waves and wildfires are two clear manifestations of the growing risks and impacts of global warming, a conclusion reinforced by the authoritative UN IPCC's report published Monday. Details, the Pacific Northwest will see its second outbreak of scorching heat and dry weather this summer. Although temperatures won't approach the all-time records of late June into early July, when Portland, Oregon, hit 116 degrees Fahrenheit, and as many as 600 people died from heat-related illness, they will be up to 20 degrees Fahrenheit above average for this time of year. Nearly 200 million Americans are under heat advisories or excessive heat warnings as dual heat domes affect the Pacific Northwest, central states and east coast. Why it matters, extreme heat can kill, and it can also greatly aggravate wildfire conditions, making it even harder for thousands of firefighters to contain California's Dixie Fire, the state's second largest on record. A weather station in Sicily may have set an all-time high temperature record for all of Europe on Wednesday, when the temperature climbed to a scorching 48.8 degrees centigrade, 119.8 degrees Fahrenheit, amid a regional heat wave that has shown few signs of relenting. The big picture, the intense heat wave continues to roast the Mediterranean and northern Africa. The hot and dry weather has played a large role in creating the conditions conducive for explosive and devastating wildfires in Turkey and Greece. A partially burned truck on Wednesday near a downed electrical power pole after the Dixie Fire moved through the area in Greenville, California. Fresh evacuation orders were issued in California and Montana on Wednesday, as firefighters in U.S. western states battled 105 large fires, and authorities warned more wildfires could ignite as a dangerous heat wave looms. Driving the news, the National Interagency Fire Center said Wednesday fire managers could see an initial attack, and large fire activity could increase in the northern California, northwest, portions of the Great Basin and northern Rockies areas due to hot, dry and windy conditions and the potential for lightning.